So I covered a video that discussed one of the most, in my opinion, most interesting prehistoric artifacts ever uncovered in the state of Ohio. And this artifact is known as the Cincinnati Tablets. The Cincinnati Tablets were believed to be created by the Adena culture, a society that thrived in the region upwards of 2,000 years ago. Now, this in and of itself is a pretty debated among topic. Like most prehistoric indigenous accreditation for both archaeological sites and significant artifacts. It's debated that potentially this, this tablet, the Cincinnati tablet, is uh, created by the quote-unquote successor of the Adena culture, the Hopewell culture, of which I believe is exactly the same thing, and it's only differentiated because archaeologists and researchers have done so for a multitude of reasons, of which is really for another video. Nonetheless, the Hopewell culture, quote-unquote, succeeded the Adena culture roughly 1,000 to 500 years afterwards. So, nonetheless, this tablet is old. Very old. And there could be even older versions of this tablet, or similar tablets, waiting to be unearthed, scattered throughout the landscape, particularly among the Ohio River Valley, of which this these societies thrived. Now... I highly recommend checking the first video out where I covered the Cincinnati tablets if you want to delve more into the information of the tablet. This video really is more of a response to that video, highlighting, in my opinion, the most plausible use case of this tablet. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about this thing and why I think it's potentially a star map. That's right, a star map for a trader or a group of traders used to traverse this land. Now, two things I want you to take note of with this interpretation. We've talked about it many times here on the channel, but in case you didn't know, both the Adena culture and especially the Hopewell culture, who more or less sent this thing into a hyperdrive, uh, there was indeed a vast trade network amongst cultures in both North and South America. This trade network was one of the most extensive of its time, and how did human beings traverse and trade all the way from mound builders in southern Canada to potentially as far as southern Mexico and Guatemala with the infamous Mayan Empire? And the answer is relatively simple to me. They used star maps, such as this one, that was found in present-day Cincinnati, Ohio, within a burial mound. Now, it's common knowledge that these prehistoric American cultures would traverse the waterways, and I want you to take another side note of the location of which this was found on Google Maps. You can see it is right next to the Ohio River, and a tributary of the Ohio River known as Licking River today which leads an astounding 303 miles down to Magoffin County in eastern Kentucky. Now, I want you to also take a look at this from a larger perspective and take note of the location of the river here. This would have indeed probably have been a really sought-after region within these trade networks because of the confluence of the Ohio River and the tributaries within this confluence. Now, another note I want you to take note of is that this tablet, the Cincinnati tablet you are seeing here in the picture, is only roughly five inches in length, about three inches in width, and only a half an inch thick. So this thing is really relatively small and easy to carry. Absolutely perfect for a trader or a group of traders traversing hundreds, potentially thousands of miles. Now, Let's try our best to interpret this star map, and by no means is any of this firmly, firmly confirmed. It's all just a mere theory by me, a mere YouTuber. So I'm going to kind of cover what I think they're trying to say in this star map. I don't know the exact location of where this star map is pointing, of course, but if someone were able to figure that out, I think it could potentially give us great deals of information on exactly how far these trade networks went. Um, and that's without saying, you know, it could have been very, very far. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into what, uh, what I think they're trying to say in this star map here of the Cincinnati tablets. Okay, so let's go ahead and get 
uh, our best interpretation of this map, or my best interpretation of the map, rather. Uh, so, I'm going to get the obvious one out of the way. I think that it's the most obvious. The little circles that you see scattered throughout this tablet here are indeed stars. They are stars. I believe them to be stars. And then another indicator that these are depicting stars, I think, is if you take a look at the curved patterns here, especially these very defined ones here, I believe in a way that they're trying to depict clouds. Uh, just as like an artistic expression, perhaps. Not really too sure. I've also theorized that these lines throughout here could have been used as more of a, a functional purpose. Uh, so I'm not really too sure because these straight lines are very, very weird. So I think potentially that is showing a, a change in direction along potentially a waterway or a trail. But these more curved features here, I believe, are more of an artistic expression. And I believe perhaps in one way or another, these very straight lines, or these very straight edges here could be more of a functional purpose. I'm not 100% sure. Aside from the point, let's go ahead and get all this ugly design out here. Another thing I want to mention here is these very defined stars here, right? So, I believe that these are potentially a starting direction uh, or a, a final destination of some kind. I believe it's, it's perhaps indicating a starting point or a final direction point, which is another reason that I believe these more narrow paths perhaps serve a more functional purpose. Um, nonetheless, a very prominent note of these ones here are that they are bigger than the other ones. Um, another thing too is you do notice that some of these, like this one's a little bit bigger than this one. It's very indicative of of a star of a star map. It's very indicative of, of a star map. So, oops, I made that smaller on accident. So, another thing I want to take note of here is the fact that there are three different sections here uh one here one here and one here one two three and i think when you look at it this way i think potentially it's either showing the star map in a different direction they're trying to train change direction along a trade path a trade route or it is depicting another time throughout the day, throughout the night, rather. Obviously, the stars change course throughout night, so they change direction throughout night and position throughout night. So I think that's the most plausible scenario in this case. I believe the reason that it's in, it's in three different patterns like this is because it's showing different times throughout the night. One reason I believe this is because not only that reason there but also because if you notice these patterns here it's always two stars right and you notice that they change direction every every single line so that's why i think it's showing the night changing direction or potentially even seasons this could be some sort of seasonal thing who knows who knows but i, I do think it's it's depicting these stars in another time essentially because you notice they change directions. And then one thing to note here, one thing that I found interesting was this star right here disappears on this line right here, right? But you notice that they're actually connected in a way, almost as if, you know what I mean? They're depicting a different time. Because that was one thing that threw it off for me was that these two sections here have three stars, right? And you notice this one only has two on this, on this horizontal or vertical uh, path here. So I believe that these are connected right here or this one here. And this is, you know, showing a different time. So hopefully that explains it a little bit. I tried my best. Um, 
I definitely want to cover this more in future videos. Hopefully that opens some of your eyes to what this potentially could be used for. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm definitely going to be covering this more and kind of theorizing more things, but I firmly believe these here are starting points or final destinations, and I believe that these are depicting a different time throughout the night of the same uh, direction. So either that or potentially they could be changing direction. I don't know because these very in, these very important ones here, these important pathways here, I'm not 100% sure if they're depicting something functional or if it's just artistic expression. My assumption safely is that it's artistic expression because of this pattern here. These patterns here, I believe, are depicting a sky, essentially, clouds. So, but no doubt in my mind that these little circles here are indeed stars. So, it's got to be a star map, right? And if there was a vast trade network like this, it's got to be for trade, you guys, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, I'm going to definitely do more videos like this in the future. Hopefully, I get better at them. I'm not the best at explaining things live, so I'm going to try and get better at it. But nonetheless, I love you guys. Peace.